Hello there everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Achola. If you are new here, welcome. Here on Achola's Closet, we talk personal style and just how to look and feel your best at any budget. Today on Achola's Closet, we are doing another try on haul and this is going to be Y Project because you guys know my obsession with Y Project. However, if you don't already know, I discovered Y Project about three years ago now. And um, for the past couple of years, I've kind of purchased many things and I thought today I will try them on. I know I talked about those pieces in my luxury hauls video, but I just wanted to try them on for you today so you can see what they actually look like. And because these are from past seasons, um, half of them will probably be sold out. But if I find any that I can link below, I will do that for you guys. And um, with that, let's just dive into the video. So first things first, before we start, if you are wondering what is Y Project, Y Project is a brand from Paris, France. Don't ask me why I'm speaking in French accent. It kind of just sounds better in my head. But it is a label from Paris, founded by Johan Serfati back in 2010. Time, the current creative director, Glenn Mertens, used to be Johan's first assistant. In April of 2013, Johan died, and um, his business partner kind of convinced Glenn to take over the business. And, um, you know, he took over the brand, and the rest is history. And Y Project is the Y Project we know today because of Glenn. Martins, he kind of took the brand from the original menswear and took it into ladies wear. A lot of the times, most of Y Project pieces are unisex, which is even more fun because it's, you know, Y Project for me is a very unique brand. It's very feminine yet very masculine. He does a lot of deconstructive work and, um, you know, it's just a cool brand for people who want to look cool and different. But with that, let's just dive right into the video. So the first item we are going to start with is going to be this baby right here. I know, my absolute favorite boots ever. Now this, I was obsessed with it back, I think it was 2018 Christmas. The original price was $1,400 and um, I bought it for $199. <laughs> I know, right? But um, I absolutely love this. And if you guys remember during that year in 2018, We've probably seen Khloe Kardashian wearing the red version. And you've also seen a few um, influencers kind of rocking the red one as well. And then you have, it comes in a lot of colors from Python to just plain blue off white. For the tartan, you have the green and you also have red. So you have a lot of options when it comes to these boots. And um, if I find any, I'll just link it in the description box for you guys. And um, one of the questions I always get asked after I tell them these are boots, they're like, well, how does it stay up? So <laughs> on the inside of the shoes, you have this beautiful elasticated garter to hold the boots up. And um, it goes literally all the way up to like, just right under my bum, you know? But um, let's put it on so you guys can see what this look like. As you can see, it's like literally <laughs> right up here. And um, the problem, now here's the issue, right? If you have a thick thigh, the garter is definitely going to be super tight and it might not 
go all the way up I'm just gonna show you mine so mine is like literally right up here so it has to be more like a knee length or just right above the knee I forgot to uh, put the garter on this side on so it's just gonna keep slipping off Okay, now the second item, you already seen her as well, is this spiral pearl earrings. The one I got is a mixture of rose gold with the pearl, but of course you can get a gold color. And um, there is, I've seen a full pearl one as well but this I love and um, there we go love those earrings by the time I purchased them it was about $59.95 from $475, I believe. But the issue is it is more on the heavier side. So a lot of the times I can only wear it for a couple of hours. And um, a lot of the times I wear it to work and I have to be at work for like nine hours. <laughs> so end up what ends up happening is I'll literally remove those earrings maybe three to four times just throughout the day to kind of just, you know, give my ears some breather before I put them back on. But I love them. It is definitely a conversation starter. Every time I wear those, people always ask, like, where did I get those earrings from? Same thing with the boots. People are always interested, you know, to talk about where it's from because at first they think it's pants. <laughs> but then when you tell them it's boots, they're like, oh my god, where is it from, you know? So you, it just, it becomes a topic of conversation. But I love both pieces so much. I know, right? This t-shirt dress right here, I also love it so much. It is, I believe, my second purchase, or was it my first purchase? Actually, no. I bought the dress first and then bought the earrings second, but I absolutely love this thing. And although it is a fall winter dress, because it's cotton, I wear it a lot more in summertime because it's just very breathable, very easy. It's not your regular butterfly sleeve dress or t-shirt. Now this stitch right here, right, that kind of goes into the sleeve here and that's what gives it this tightness on the bust but the body is just very loose and because I am a petite woman, it hits me just right at the knee so I wear a lot of the time as a dress. During the fashion show it was styled as a t-shirt with his straight leg jeans and I haven't tried that yet maybe this summer I'll probably do that and um, but it's just so comfortable so easy to wear and um, a little white project stitching there I also love his um, like when he does logo like this it's not so much in your face like it's always just small stitch on every single piece or sometimes it's just a Y, let's say on the scarves, things like that. So it's not like logo and branding right in your face. But that is the dress.
So this dress right here, I honestly like this as well. It's just very simple argyle print at the front here. Just your classic fit, very easy to wear. It is navy length. So you can definitely wear it as is or absolutely layer maybe a dress shirt under for just a different look. You can wear it as a dress or you can actually just roll it all the way up as well. Kind of just make it a little bit more bulgy and wear it as, you know, a sweater vest. So next up is this black trousers with the fold over waist. Now this is a classic white project and you'll find this style in shorts, a lot of pens, you have some denims, this wool, it is a wool and it was fall winter 2018-2019 and um, when I purchased it the waist was sitting just a little bit low here thanks to Rona we've pound on some pounds and honestly I am one of these people I don't weigh myself so I wish I know how many pounds we've put on but we don't I just noticed a lot of things are fitting a lot better and I honestly I am beyond happy with that and um, this pant is an example of that I just like the way it fits and it sits on the waist because during the fashion show it was high-waisted <laughs> and I was kind of a little bit disappointed that it wasn't sitting high-waisted I thought about taking the waist in just to make it fit a little bit better but I was like nah I don't want to do anything with the waist and I am glad I actually didn't do that because right now it's just fitting perfectly and um, even though it is a fall winter merch I wear it a lot more for summer because I feel like you need to see the little details and during fall winter you don't get to see any of that because I'll have my coat on and you know trying to stay warm and I, I can't tuck this into boots. It's just not happening. So I wear a lot more during summertime, but it is a beautiful pair of pants. Up next is one of my favorite dresses, the polo dress. You guys remember seeing this in my sale season finds. And um, you already know my obsession with this dress. Every time I put it on, I feel like I just want to live in it. The white project kind of just give me that kind of feelings you know you just want to live in the clothes because they are that comfortable however the arm of this thing is tight <laughs> like super tight i'm still trying to figure out what to do with the sleeves maybe eventually we'll open this up so you have like a cutout on the sleeve but i don't know yet and um, the body just fits beautifully. I love the cut and every single thing about this dress. Of course, I can dress it up with heels like I'm doing right now for, you know, as more of a special event or I can pair it with my sneakers for more of a casual day, like shopping day or something like that. But it is absolutely a gorgeous dress. Alright, so 
So for the final look, I have this gorgeous printed dress. And this right here is the most recent, actually no. This right here is the recent added into my closet, but I mean, they were like literally less than a month apart. They were all from the same season. And I just love the dress, to be quite honest with you. I think it's beautiful. The material is very stretchy, so it's very comfortable. Absolutely comfortable. Now, this is more of maybe a special occasion type of dress. And you don't want to, you know, put on a whole bunch of bling and whatnot. I think this is just... It's just so elegant and I love the neckline right here. So it makes it sexy but not overly sexy because you're fully covered. Okay, so as for the bag, you guys already know it is the accordion one. However, I forgot to show you guys the inside of this bag in my haul video but this is what it looks like I mean the size is okay I can fit my cart holder a hand lotion my uh, perfume tube and uh, maybe a lipstick or a gloss things like that and um, somebody asked me before if I can fit my phone into this I said of course not this you cannot fit your phone in it but I mean who actually puts their phone in their bags these days you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and also leave me a comment down below I would love to know all about your favorite brands and whatnot but um, with that you have a great rest of the day and I will see you in my next video